Hi, in this video, we will talk about NPAC 2017, that is National Test for Programs after 12th conducted by NMIMS University, Mumbai. This entrance exam is conducted for multiple courses with B.Tech, MBA Tech, B.Pharm, MBA Pharm, uh, BBA, BSc Economics, BSc Finance, Bachelor in Design, BCom Honors. Uh, NMIMS University is currently operating out of five different campuses, Mumbai campus being the oldest and the most popular among all the campuses followed by Indore, Sherpur, uh, Bangalore uh, and recently they have opened up a campus in Navi Mumbai also. So uh, as far as engineering and pharma tech course is concerned, the, uh, both these courses are operated from Mumbai campus as well as Sherpur campus. Whereas BBA campus, uh, BBA program is offered at four different campuses, Mumbai, Bangalore, uh, Indore and uh, Navi Mumbai. Indore and Navi Mumbai being the latest entrance in BBA program. Other courses are also offered at different different campuses. Most of the courses uh, are offered uh, at Mumbai campuses whereas the other campuses offered some selected courses also. You can refer to the slide given at the end of this uh, video to get the details of the same. In this video, we will first talk about entrance exam pattern, then we will go into details of each section and then uh, the discussion will be followed by how to prepare for the same or what should be the strategy in order to get the you know, required cutoff or required rank. Uh, in clearing this exam or securing admission. Let us first talk about the entrance exam pattern. As compared to last year, there is a slight change uh, in this year's entrance exam pattern. Earlier, all the sections, there were three sections, uh, numerical ability and quantitative aptitude, 50 questions, uh, English proficiency, uh, 50 questions and analytical and logical reasoning, 50 questions. But this year, all the three sections have uh, been reduced by 10 marks each. So now this year, all these sections will be 40, 40, 40 questions. So overall 120 questions to be answered in 120 minutes. Another change that they have introduced this year is sectional time limit. So this is for the first time that NPAT is introducing sectional time limit. Uh, first section that is quantitative aptitude and numerical ability which was earlier 50 questions which is now 40 questions will be required to be answered in 45 minutes. Similarly, analytical and logical reasoning, which is also uh, 40 questions this year as compared to 50 questions last year, will also be required to answer in 45 minutes. Whereas English proficiency, uh, which is also 40 questions, but this time it will be required to be answered in 30 minutes only. So uh, the sectional time limit will put a lot of pressure into students mind because for an entrance exam like this, this is for the first time that a sectional time limit has been introduced. I am Indore has also introduced sectional time limit this year, but that we have already covered in the other video. Let us understand the detailed breakup of these sections. Let us first start with quantitative aptitude and numerical ability section. The 40 question we can expect the breakup uh, into five different categories. First one being questions on basic arithmetic and algebra. This can be somewhere around 8 to 10 out of 40. It is not a uh, less weightage, almost 25 percent of the weightage. Second being a basic geometry and mensuration based question, you can expect somewhere around 5 to 6 questions out of this. Now the most dominant and most important uh, the other two sections will be uh, arithmetic, uh, higher arithmetic which will be somewhere around 7 to 8 question and higher algebra which will be the most dominant uh, consisting of around uh, 8 to 12 questions. Uh, quantitative section typically has the maximum variety of question. Both uh, the concept wise and level of difficulty wise. Concept wise because it covers basic uh, as well as higher arithmetic and algebra. It also covers coordinate geometry. It also covers co other areas of higher maths and level of difficulty wise because the audience that we look here in NPAT is from all the varieties. That is a lot of science students will be applying for a B.Tech program, for a pharma tech program, for a B farm program, for a design program and a huge amount of commerce and art students will be applying for uh, BPA, BSc Economics, BSc Finance and BCom programs. So the student variety is also wide and hence the level of difficulty in mathematical section will be quite uh, diverse. Next is analytical and logical reasoning. Now out of 40 questions we can expect that almost uh, 30 questions can be from analytical reasoning uh, itself. So the chapters like direction sense, blood relation, puzzles, arrangements, uh, coding, decoding, sequence and series will form a major chunk of the questions out of 40. So expect somewhere around 24 to 30 questions based on these questions uh, only. Additionally, we can come across questions on logical reasoning and critical reasoning uh, in this section itself. 
दो क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन हैव बीन आस्ड इन वर्बल एबिलिटी सेक्शन ऑल्सो बट वी शुड नॉट बी सरप्राइज इन केस वी कम अक्रॉस सच क्वेश्चन इन दिस सेक्शन सो लॉजिकल रीजनिंग दैट इज स्टेटमेंट एजम्पन एंड कंक्लूजन स्टेटमेंट एंड कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन स्टेटमेंट एंड आर्ग्यूमेंट्स सच क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल्सो क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग बेस्ड क्वेश्चन कैन बी समवे अराउंड एट टू ट्वेल्व आउट ऑफ फोर्टी थर्ड वन इज प्रोफिशंसी इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इफ यू गो बाई द लास्ट टू ईयर्स रिकॉर्ड द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन हैज रेंज फ्रॉम टेन टू ट्वेंटी सो दैट इज आउट ऑफ फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन नो दिस ईयर दी पैटर्न एज चेंज एंड इट इज फोर्टी क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट समवेयर बिटवीन एट टू ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन सो दैट इज टू टू थ्री पैसेजेज इन रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन एट मैक्स सो यू देर कैन बी ओनली वन पैसेज ऑल्सो विच कैन हैव एट टू टेन क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो सो एक्सपेक्ट एनीथिंग बिटवीन एट टू ट्वेल्व इन रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन Similarly, grammar-based question can also range from somewhere between six to ten. Uh, typically, if if you look at the pattern of 2015, there were around 20 questions on grammar, but in 2016 there were around 10 to 12 questions. So, out of 40 questions this year, you can expect a range of eight to ten questions. Uh, the type of questions within grammar can be uh, finding the errors uh, or correcting the sentences or there can be multiple uh, a sentence divided into multiple parts and you are required to identify an incorrect part of the entire sentence then third part uh, is vocabulary based questions so typically divided into synonyms antonyms or fill in the blanks based question so out of 50 the historical range has been somewhere between 15 to 25 so that's quite dominating section so out of 40 also we can expect somewhere around 12 to 15 question based on vocabulary alone so be prepared to be uh, you know cover up the high frequency words which are you know most likely expected in the exam and the fourth area of uh, verbal the ability that is proficiency in english language as per this section is concerned is your verbal reasoning based questions so para jumbles critical reasoning logical continuation or logical discontinuation which you generally expect in most of the aptitude exams you can expect in this exam as well Uh, historically this uh, type of question has not crossed uh, more than 10 12 out of 50 so out of 40 we can still expect that it can be somewhere around 8 to 10 this year now how to prepare and how to attempt each section this year because of the time limit being introduced it will be very important to have a right strategy in place so that you can get the maximum out of each section say for example let us start with quantitative aptitude and numerical ability section we have 40 question to be answered in 45 minutes so last till last year there were a lot of students who were really good with uh, these uh, section that is maths used to attempt more question and spend more time in this section and spend less time in verbal section and still get away with an overall good score because there were no sectional cutoffs there are still no sectional cutoffs as far as the instruction online is given to you but when there is a sectional time limit the strategy is very important because you have to get maximum score within the same time limit so here as discussed earlier we know that the level of difficulty ranges uh, in different different sections so typically uh, if you were to attempt this section better start focusing on the basic arithmetic and algebra based questions as well as basic geometry and mensuration based question now this combined consists of almost 15 to 16 questions out of 40 question and hence an ideal strategy would be to identify these questions and attack them first and attempt it within 15 to 20 minutes if you have reached a uh, level of 15 to 16 attempts in 20 minutes also you can consider yourself to be on the safer side now as far as remaining 20 minutes is concerned please identify your strength areas here because there are no differential marking system every question weighs same that is plus 1 mark or minus 0.25 mark you have to identify that if you are really comfortable with questions on higher arithmetic say for examples questions on time speed and distance time in work etc then it makes sense to invest around 1 one, one and a half minute each in these type of questions and spend somewhere around 7 to 8 minutes and get another 4 to 5 attempts in your pocket so this will give you a attempt of somewhere around 20 at the end of 20, uh, 30 minutes you still have another 15 minutes and considering an average of 1 and a half to 2 minute per question for a higher level of difficulty especially higher algebra like per, uh, no permutation and combination or a coordinate geometry or inequalities or functions which typically takes around 1 and 1/2 to 2 minutes sometimes 2 and 1/2 minute also so even if we average it to 2 minutes we still have around 15 minutes so we can expect around 6 to 7 more attempts so ideally uh, if you are reaching if you are crossing 25 26 attempts 
uh, assuming the level of difficulty that I just mentioned, uh, you are on the safer side of a good score. For common students, I would advise that not to run after this 26 to 30 attempts. Even if you are able to attempt 20 to 25 questions with very high accuracy, then you are still on the safer side because you are not competing with engineers here. You are competing with other commerce students who would be looking at seats in BB or BSc Finance or BSc Economics or even BCom Honours. A very similar strategy needs to be adopted for analytical and logical reasoning section also. As discussed earlier, we can expect somewhere around 30, 32 question which can be on the standard expected pattern and only 4 to 5 question on say something like critical reasoning or logical continuation or logical discontinuation which can be generally considered as slightly higher on level of difficulty. So as far as attempting 30 question is concerned, I don't think so it is something which cannot be achieved in 45 minutes. But the criticality over here will be the accuracy level. Hence. The question selection should also be based on that so that your overall accuracy level, level remains close to 100%. So you can always start with questions which are based on series and sequences which are one liners or questions which are independent and not group questions. So in reasoning typically a student gets stuck in a group question where he is not able to move out, he is not able to solve a puzzle and he gets stuck or he tends to overspend time. So we still have if you are looking at an average attempt uh, uh, of 30-32 for a very aspirational student, we have an average of around 1.5 minute per question. So that should not be possible uh, if you get stuck into group questions initially. This is possible only when you start up with individual questions, typically on blood relation, direction, sense or uh, you know, series and sequence or coding based question which are single single question and you can move on quickly. Later on you can keep another uh, 15, 20, 15 minutes approximately for group question that is puzzles. So this should help you reach a attempt of 30-32 with a good accuracy level. Lastly, uh, the section English proficiency. Uh, what I would advise is to pounce upon vocabulary as soon as you open this section. Here we just have 30 minutes and uh, an aspiring student, a serious student who is looking at a you know, very good ranks and looking at campus like Mumbai should be looking at somewhere uh, attempting somewhere around 30 questions out of 40. Sometimes you know I would not mind if your accuracy is really high I would not mind 35 to 40 attempts also. But this is possible only when you are maintaining high accuracy and if you want to maintain the momentum of your attempts you have to ensure that your first 5 to 10 minute gets you 15 to 20 attempts and this is possible only when you start with vocabulary. So pounds upon vocabulary Ensure that throughout your preparation you are doing really well in your vocabulary, you are revising your words. You most likely, if I, if I go by the history of last two years, you are not uh, expected to come across some alien word. You will come across the, the high frequency words which are generally asked in the uh, in various entrance exams. So if you are really prepared, I think you should be able to get those 15-16 questions in first 5-7 to seven minutes. Second set of attempts should be definitely on grammar because again the questions on grammar will not be consuming good amount of time but here be cautious that you do not uh, lose patience in attempting grammar based question and end up making mistakes because this is the area where most of the students end up making lot of silly mistakes. Third area will definitely be reading comprehension so by that this time you would have uh, not developed a good uh, uh, work rate you would have developed a good reading speed you would have been involved into the section fully and hence I would advise you to attack on RC. So first 7 to 8 minutes on vocabulary, 5 to 6 minutes on grammar. So that gives you around uh, you know, 15 to 17 more minutes to attack, attack RC in the other areas. Now if you have two RCs, you can simply divide uh, both of, you can uh, allocate 4 to 5 minutes each for both the RCs. If you have only one RC, allocate somewhere around 7 to 8 minutes for one passage. Then you can look forward for moving to verbal reasoning based questions which can be either a group question or they can be single question something like pair jumbles, uh, statement uh, an argument or something like a logical continuation or logical discontinuation. But please ensure especially in vocabulary and uh, grammar based question please ensure you do not mark any question if you are not really sure. Please maintain high accuracy in verbal. So just attempting the question is not sufficient. You know, it, uh, your number of attempts can give you a good rosy picture, can give you a motivation. But if your accuracy is not that really high, you will see that your expected scores are not turning out as you, know, you wanted it to be. The last part of discussion is the 
uh, applying to institutes as mentioned in the initial part of discussion that there are various institutes various courses being offered under the same umbrella so NPAT is one common exam but you can apply to BTEC courses you can apply to pharma or pharma tech courses you can apply to BBA you can apply to BSc economics so please have a thorough research on all the institutes and ensure that you apply to at least two to three institutes and multiple courses please ensure that you set your priorities well because uh, the final admission will be based on the priority and your rank so if your rank is good enough you will be allocated your first priority if your rank is not good enough you will be given your second priority third priority and so on and if you have not applied to sufficient institutes your effort in preparing and uh, no, clearing this exam will go in vain because you will not end up getting any admission to at the end of the process so typically i would advise to apply to two to three institutes and multiple campuses or multiple courses within the same institute this will ensure that you have all the ranges with you that means if you are in top 500 ranks you will get your desired institute if you are in top 1000 rank you may get your second priority if you are in top 1500 rank you may get your second or third priority and so on please have a look at all the important dates please ensure that you are not just applying for an NPAT exam but you are also applying to different different institutes as just mentioned and see to it that you set your priorities really well wishing you all the best for NPAT 2017 and in case you have any query with reference to this video please put the query in the comment section of this video wishing you all the best